In the Product Health Foundation, working with the Grants Committee that I'm on, you know, we look at different avenues, how we can support the community through, you know, um, the students and the health of the community as a whole. And this observation here, as you're seeing behind me, you know, it's students getting a chance to be outside, playing hockey, whether they play it recreational on a team outside of this or it's the first time, you know, it's one that builds them up for confidence going forward and also builds, you know, a lot of their self-esteem because a lot of the players or people out here today actually helped build the rink. And that's a big thing. You know, you think about years down the line when they're adults or they have kids, are they dads or wives later on? They're actually building something for their own kids in their own backyards. And that's the main thing is opening up for the public and also to expand our local community. So it's a really good thing overall. Yeah, the ice is great right now. I mean, it's awesome to have this in our backyard here. Um, during PE class, we get to come out here and skate a little bit. Yeah, it's good to get the kids out here and um, kind of introducing some of them to playing hockey. Some of them, it's their first time, so. so. The idea started flying about, you know, maybe getting an ice rink in our own yard here and the students take care of it. And it'd be something not just for our students to take care of, but something for the community. So we tried a little pad out here in the just used snow banks last year, and then um, I think it was last year towards the spring, Mr. Kinnan and asked if I ever heard of Easy Rink, and, and that's when we started looking at what Easy Rink was and what we could do with it, and uh, this is the outcome. So we hope the community comes out here and skates on it, and we got kids that, at our school that are gonna use it constantly, so we encourage it. Yeah, this is, this is awesome. This is a dream come true for, for us as a school. Um, the Portage Health Foundation has been awesome with supporting us um, for the last few years and this ice rink has been a dream of ours for a while and, and it's awesome to be able to get out there and skate with the kids and, and have a blast. We're an alternative high school and um, we run a, a, a basic schedule Monday through Thursdays and run, a, a run classes on Friday mornings and then in the afternoon we do something that we call electives and it's an opportunity for kids to participate in different activities, um, doing different things around the community. They've been talking about wanting to play hockey and the options for ice rinks uh, are limited up here on the north end and so we thought it'd be a perfect opportunity for us to put in a rink, give our kids something to do um, in the afternoons, a good community uh, project for them. Um, we're supported a ton by our community. We get a ton of donations, people supporting us and this is us kind of our thank you back to them really appreciating that and, and giving them an opportunity to come and skate and we, we love nothing more than supporting the community that supports us. I work on it when I feel like I need to work on it, so yes. Most of the time we're just scraping off snow and then the other half of the time we're flooding it so that it gets like a lot more solid so that more people can use it over time and it doesn't get wore down as much. We get a lot of student participation. We've got a class that comes out um, pretty much every day um, and they work on the rink and a lot of them don't even skate but they like to get out and you know they just like to do some work put together the nets put together the rink and do some flooding and scraping so yeah we've got a pretty good crew that comes out i like working on it because the more people that get more enjoyment out of it the more i feel like i've fulfilled what i wanted to achieve yeah it's fun playing with the guys today i was the only girl so it was a little intimidating but it was fun i grew up in minnesota so i guess i grew up playing hockey in my backyard with my brothers I'm actually right there so I can look out and see it and I'm always peeking at the classes that come out here. I like watching them and so I gotta figure out how to get some time in out here. We usually run till about four o'clock and so we'll open the, uh, the rink up to the public from four o'clock till maybe like 10 o'clock at night. Um, open on the weekends so it's, it's open to the public. This is our first year running it so we're gonna still kind of try to fine tune um, you know some rules and regulations and things like that but right now it's the last person leave, pull the lights when you go and um, if you could throw a scrape on that'd be sweet. Thank you.